In this episode, I'm gonna show you everything you need to manage your open trades on your MetaTrader 5 Expert Advisor. You don't wanna miss it. There's a few things you need in order to complete this episode. First, you really need to have a working MetaTrader 5 terminal because that'll allow you to test the results of what you build. Secondly, I really recommend that you have an existing trading bot that you wanna add this to. That'll help you make those trades and really give you everything you need to be able to check that they're working. You can check out some of my previous episodes if you want to see how to do exactly that. All right, let's get into it. If you're following along from the previous episode, you would know that we've created a way to process what happens with our RSI algorithm whenever we receive a signal, which is pretty exciting. But if you ran it for a little while, you might notice a really, really annoying problem. And that is literally every single time it goes below the RSI 30, it starts to make trades. And that can be a real problem in terms of managing your risk and understanding how many trades are going to open and so on. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to manage your trades right from your expert advisor, which is going to be super helpful and super simple. So let's check it out. To do that, we're going to start by creating a brand new function, which is going to be called our trade management function. So we'll do that. Trade management. And the purpose of this function is to manage all of our existing trades. So that can be orders, which is what happens before the trade enters, and positions, which is what happens after the trade turns into position. And we're going to return a Boolean to indicate success or failure. So trade. First of all, what we want to do is to get the total number of open orders. Okay, so that's going to be our int total orders, okay, which is orders total, which is a built-in MetaTrader class, and we also want to get the total number of positions. If there are no open orders or positions, Okay, but then we want to return true. Okay, so if total orders equal zero and total positions equal zero, and else, we want to check to make sure that the maximum number of trades isn't exceeded. So to do that, we, we add our total orders and total positions together, and then we convert total trades the same concurrent trades we return true otherwise we're going to return false now before we go and fill in what this concurrent trades is I'll explain what we've done a little bit for you so first of all, we look at getting our total orders. So that's all of the trades that have been placed that haven't yet converted into positions. Then we look at our total positions and get account for them. Now, if both of these are zero, by default, they're not gonna be less than our concurrent trades, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But if, they, if there is an order or a trade uh, or a position, we want to compare it to our concurrent trades and return a true or a false based on that outcome. So what is concurrent trades? Well, concurrent trades is a really simple way of managing your orders, which say, if your MetaTrader 5 terminal has more than one or X number of trades open, then, um, then we don't want to have any more. So to make that really, really simple, if I go to, whoops, if I go to my MetaTrader, and I, let me just move this out of the way. If I go to my trade, you can see here that right now, I've got no trades open, okay? But if I start to get a trade either down here below the line or up here above the line, then that, deter that basically says I've already got a risk position open. I can either, if it's a position, it's already entered into a trade and it's gonna sit there until I sell it or, or get rid of it, or if it's, in a, if it's a, a, an order, then it's waiting to turn into a trade. Concurrent trades basically compares against that and says I only want whatever number we set concurrent trades to be. So to do that, we just need to add a parameter to our trading bot. And I'll just move this video down here a little bit. 
input which is going to be enter concurrent trades okay and we can go back down here and you'll be able to see that our concurrent trades is now working we compile that all works so now your trading bot's only going to open the number of concurrent trades that you want which could be one ten thousand whatever works for you and your current risk profile pretty cool now the next thing we're going to be looking at is expanding our trading bot to really start to look at how we can backtest it and look into making it more effective so currently it's just a simple rsi algorithm we want to take it to the next level so check it out